This is lesson 516. This is a spelling dictation lesson, and I will dictate words that will contain new vowel teams. And let's look at the new vowel teams. First of all, let's review the difference between vowel group 4 and vowel group 6. Vowel group 4 is when two vowels join together and form a team, and the first vowel represents its long sound. Vowel group 6 is when two vowels join together, represent a team, and the first vowel does not represent its long sound. Now let's look at the vowel teams on this screen. EI is a team, two vowels join together, form the team, and represent the long E sound, as in ceiling. So we would underline EI and put a four under it. However, EI in the word veil, the EI join together and form a team. However, the first vowel does not represent its long sound. Instead, it represents the sound A. So in that instance, you would underline EI and put a six under it. So EI is one of our new teams. You have to determine from the sound it represents in a word whether you're going to classify it as a vowel group four team or a vowel group six team. EY is the same. We have two sounds EY can represent. We've already learned EY can represent the long E sound as in key. When it does that, you would underline EY and put a four under it. But if you look at the word they, T-H-E-Y, in that word, E-Y is representing the long A sound. So there you would underline E-Y and put a six under the E-Y team. So again, you have to look at the word and on a case-by-case -case basis determine whether a vowel team is vowel group four or vowel group six. Let's look at I-E. Again, we have two options here. I-E can represent the long I sound, as in pi, in which case you would underline I-E and put a four under it, or I-E can represent the long E sound, as in field. There you would underline I-E and put a six under it. Finally, the last two vowel teams on this screen are UE, where UE represents one of two sounds. Now, we've already covered the sounds UE represents because U represents not one but two long sounds. And in the word Q, UE is representing the first long sound of U. So in that instance, you would underline it once and put a four under it. But in the word blue, UE is representing its second long sound, U, and in that instance, you double underline the UE team, and it's still a vowel group 14 because U is still representing its second long sound. Now I'm going to dictate eight rows of words, and they will contain any one of these teams, beginning with row one. Collie, Collie, I adopted a collie for my pet, collie. Two syllables, first syllable, call, three sounds, k, a, ul, li, two sounds, ul, e, call, li. First, we look for teams, and we have an ie team. Next, we identify vowel sounds. Then, we divide the word into syllables. Finally, we associate vowel group numbers with our vowel sounds. Kali. Here, IE is representing the long E sound, so that will determine that it's a vowel group 16 in this instance. Unveil. Unveil. We will unveil the statue in a formal ceremony. Unveil. Two syllables. First syllable, un. Two sounds, a, uh, n. Veil, three sounds, v, a, o, unveil. First, we look for teams, letters representing their second sounds, or a silent e in the word. Next, we identify our vowel sounds. Two vowel sounds, so that means we have a two-syllable word. Now we divide the word into syllables. Finally, we associate vowel group numbers with our vowel sounds. Unveil. 
Here, EI is representing the long A sound, so that's valve group 6. If it represented the long E sound, it would be valve group 4. The next word is grieve. Grieve. I grieve for your loss. Grieve. Four sounds. G, R, E, V. Grieve. First, we look for teams, letters representing their second sounds, or a silent E. Now, we don't have a silent E in this word. We have a consonant team, V-E. When E's only job is to prevent the V from being the last letter in the word, then E joins together with the V and becomes part of the consonant team VE. Next, we identify our vowel sounds. One vowel sound. So we have a one-syllable word. We don't have to divide this word into syllables. And we now associate a vowel group number with our IE team. And this is going to be a six because IE in this word is representing the sound E. Again, if it were representing the long I sound, we would put a four under the IE team. The next word is bluebird. Bluebird, a beautiful bluebird flew to the bird bath. Blue bird, two syllables. First syllable, blue, three sounds, b, o, u. Bird, three sounds, b, er, d. Blue bird. Now at this point, pause the video, completely mark the word, and then when you've completed that task, advance the video. Blue bird. U-E is double underlined in this word because U is representing its second long sound, U. Row two, ceiling, ceiling. There is a disturbing crack in the ceiling. Ceiling, two syllables, first syllable C, two sounds, S, E. Ling, three sounds, O, I, N. C, Ling. Mark the word, and once you've completed that process, advance the video. C Ling. Here EI is a vowel group 4 team because EI is representing the long E sound. Wield. Wield. The soldier will wield his weapon. Wield. Four sounds. W, E, U, D. Wield. Mark the word. Wield. IE is representing the long E sound, thus we put a six under the IE team. Greyhound. Greyhound. The greyhound is the fastest dog of all breeds. Greyhound. Two syllables. First syllable gray, three sounds. G, R, A. Hound. Four sounds, h, ow, n, d, gray hound. Mark the word, gray hound. Both of the vowel teams in this word are vowel group six. Remember, vowel group six says two vowels joined together, and the first vowel does not represent its long sound. Tie, tie, tie the string together. Tie, two sounds, t. I, tie, mark the word, tie. Row three, prairie, prairie. The prairie is an area with very few trees and flat land. And for spelling, we're going to pronounce this word pray re Pray has three sounds, p, r, a. Re, two sounds, r, e. Pray, re. Mark the word. Pray, re. And in conversation, you would say prairie. Deceive, deceive. Be careful that he does not deceive you. Deceive. D has two sounds, d, e. Sieve. Three sounds, s, e, v, deceive, mark the word, 
deceive. Blarney, Blarney. Blarney means to flatter someone with charm. Blarney. Blar has three sounds. B, O, R. Knee, two sounds. N, E. Blarney. Mark the word. Blarney. Yield. Yield. We must yield to a greater truth. Yield. Four sounds. Y, E, O, D. Yield. Mark the word. Yield. Row four. Pray. Pray. Now this pray is referring to an animal that hunts its prey. And it has three sounds. P, R, A. Pray. Mark the word. Pray. This word is in a group called homonyms, which simply means words that sound the same but can be spelled differently and have different meanings. The most common form for the word pray would be P-R-A-Y, which means to say a prayer. But this pray, you can't hear the difference in the pronunciation. It's identical, but it's spelled differently and has a completely different meaning. Receive. Receive. The king will receive the audience now. Receive. Re has two sounds. R, E. Sieve. Three sounds. S, E, V. Receive. Mark the word. Receive. Belief. Belief. Our belief in you is unshakable. Belief. B has two sounds. B, E. Leaf. Three sounds. O, E, F. B, leaf. Mark the word. B, leaf. Reindeer. Reindeer. The reindeer is an animal found in the very northern latitudes. Rain, deer. Rain has three sounds. R, A, N. Deer, three sounds. D, E, R. Rain, deer. Mark the word. Rain, deer. Row five, pulley. Pulley. The pulley system is very intricate. In this factory, pulley, pull, three sounds, p, u, u, li, two sounds, o, e, pull, li, mark the word, pull, li. U is representing its extra sound, u, so we put the number eight under the U to indicate vowel group eight. Shield, shield. The policeman wore his shield on his chest. Shield, four sounds. Sh, e, o, d. Shield, mark the word. Shield. Cashier, cashier. I went to the cashier with the fewest people in line. Cashier. Ca has two sounds. K, a. Sheer, three sounds. Sh. E, er, cashier. Mark the word, cashier. Two is underlined under the A because A is representing its short A sound here, and that's an exception to vowel group two. Virtue, virtue. The man's virtue was unquestionable. Virtue. For spelling, pronounce the word virtue. Ver has two sounds, v, er, tu, two sounds, t, u, ver, tu, mark the word, ver, tu, and we say in conversation, virtue. Row six, genie, genie, do not let the genie out of the bottle, genie, g, two sounds, j, e, Knee, two sounds, n, e. 
genie. Mark the word. Genie. Clue. Clue. That guy doesn't have a clue. Clue. Three sounds. K. O. U. Clue. Mark the word. Clue. Here U.E. is representing its second long sound, U. So we double underline the U.E. team. Receipt. Receipt. I lost the receipt for my purchase. Receipt. Re has two sounds. R. E. Seat. Three sounds. S. E. T. Receipt. Now, you might notice we have a P in this word, and there's no sound in the word to correspond to that letter P. So we do have a way to handle that situation and mark the word and then advance the screen. We have another symbol to learn, and that is the wave sign under the P. When a letter is silent in a word, or a letter team for that matter, we put a wave sign under that letter or letter team to indicate that it does not have a sound value in the word. But you have to have the letter or letter team in the word to spell the word correctly. And P is completely silent in this word. Fondue. Fondue. I enjoy eating cheese fondue. Fon has three sounds. F, a, N. Do two sounds. D, U. Fon do. Mark the word. Fon do. Row seven. Vein, vein. A vein will carry blood back to the heart for oxygen. Vein. Three sounds. V, A, N. Vein. Mark the word. Vein. Survey. Survey. The person called me on the phone to conduct a survey. Survey. Sur has two sounds. S-er. Ve. Two sounds. V-a. Survey. Mark the word. Survey. Caddy. Caddy. The teenager is working as a caddy at the local golf club. Caddy. Cad. Three sounds. K. A, D, D, two sounds, D, E, CAD, D, mark the word, CAD, D. Besiege, besiege, the army will besiege the settlement, besiege. B has two sounds, B, E, siege, three sounds, S, E, J, B, siege, mark the word, B, siege. Our final row eight, sieve, sieve. I put the spaghetti in a sieve to let it drain, sieve, three sounds, S, I, V, sieve, mark this word, sieve. Now we have another new element in our marking system. Notice under the IE there's an X. When a letter team represents a sound it normally does not represent, we simply put an X under that letter or letter team. Now IE can represent one of two sounds normally. The long I sound in pie or the long E sound in field. But in this word sieve, it's representing the short I sound which is a sound it does not normally represent. So in that instance, we put an X under the, the vowel. The next word is rue. Rue. You will rue the day you made this decision. Rue. Two sounds. R, U. Rue. Mark the word. Rue. Heirloom. Heirloom. She grows heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom. Air has two sounds. A, er. Loom. Three sounds. Ul, u, m. Heirloom. Mark the word. Heirloom. So here we have a wave sign under the H, 
Because in the word heirloom, H is completely silent. And yet you must have an H in this word to spell it correctly. So again, when a letter or letter team is silent in a word, you have to put a wave sign under it to indicate that fact. Veil. Veil. The woman wore a veil to church. Veil. Three sounds. V. A. U. Veil. Mark the word. Veil. And this completes the dictation of words from Lesson 516.